हेलो फ्रेंड्स डी के दिस साइड वेलकम टू माय चैनल टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल अंडरटेक द यूएस स्टॉक मार्केट वीकली एनालिसिस दिस एक्सरसाइज वी हैव बीन डूइंग ऑन दिस चैनल सिंस ओवर वन एंड हाफ इयर्स और सो द प्राइमरीली टू ऑब्जेक्टिव्स फॉर सच काइंड ऑफ वीकली वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल नंबर वन दिस हेल्प्स अस to remain updated about the price action in the us stock market because we cover the technical analysis of s&p 500 index nasdaq 100 index and dow jones industrial average index while i do the technical analysis i explain in detail about the price action and various technical studies so that those who are beginners in the stock market can learn the technical analysis in the process however this channel has a complete course on technical analysis you can click on the podcast button on the home page of this channel and start learning technical analysis and various elements of technical analysis from the comfort of your home us stock market is extremely bullish and we have been emphasizing on this channel in such a bullish market whenever the cooling of effect takes place in the market the correction would be some kind of shallow pullback or could be a time correction and that is what we are experiencing in the us stock market whether we talk about s&p 500 nasdaq 100 and dow jones industrial average index so in this video we have divided the video in three distinct parts in part 1 we will take the performance outlook of the us stock market in the week that is ended on 12th january 2020 then we will check the sentiments prevailing in the us stock market what kind of sentiments are driving the us stock market and then we will go to the price chart that is the third segment where we will undertake the technical analysis of the us stock market covering all the top index from the us stock market friends do not forget to like the video subscribe the channel hit the notification bell for updates let's begin how did the us stock markets performed in the last week that has ended on 12th of january 2024 s&p 500 the broader market index was bullish by 1.84% on a week to week basis while nasdaq 100 was bullish by 3.23% outperforming the s&p 500 index and dow jones industrial average index was bullish by 0.34% so bulls clearly dominated in the stock market in the last week in such market conditions one should never try to short the market presuming that the market has gone too high no levels is higher for the bulls and no levels is lower for the bears so trend is your friend should be the mantra for this kind of a strong bull market let us now check the sentiments in the market that has driven the us stock market this is the fear and greed index against the broader market index s&p 5 currently on closing of the last week this is reading at 71 which means it is in the greed zone one week ago it was reading at 70 so there is not much change in the broader sentiments in the us stock market over the past one week it is useful to look at the stock market levels compared to where they were over the past few months when s&p 500 is above its moving average of period 125 that is a sign of the positive momentum so this is the market momentum and here this line is representing the simple moving average 125 period 
So, and this is the S&P 500 index. So, S&P 500 index is currently much above the simple moving average 125 period, which implies that the market momentum is very, very high and the market based on this indicator is in extreme greed zone. Now, let us check the put and call options. Why this is important? Options are the contracts that give investors the right to buy or sell stocks at an agreed upon price and agreed upon date. So this is the five day average put call ratio. We call it as a PCR. PCR means put call ratio. This currently reads little above 0.8 level, which means it is still bullish and bias is bullish and the market is still looking greedy. Now let us check the market volatility. The most well-known majors of market sentiment is volatility index, what we know as VIX. This is the VIX volatility index, which matches the volatility of S&P 500. The VIX matches the expected price fluctuations or volatility in S&P 500 index options over the next 30 days. So if you look at and compare with the 50-day moving average, so this represents the 50-day moving average. If we check the volatility currently on closing of the market in the last week, it is below 50-day moving average. So this particular indicator is indicating that the market is in neutral territory. So how do we understand this? Market is bullish, extremely bullish. At the same time, fear and greed index against S&P 500 index is in greed zone. It is still not in extreme greed zone. What does it mean? That there is a, still a cushion for the market to go on upside. Let us now straight away go to the price chart to undertake the technical analysis. Friends, do not forget to like this video. Willing to succeed in the stock market? Join DK's Diamond Club channel membership for fundamental and technical analysis. Learn strategies and risk management to stay ahead of the curve. Join now and attend our weekly meetings every Sunday. Let us start our technical analysis from the price chart of S&P 500 index. This is the weekly price chart. This index in the last week closed finally at 4,783.84. Thereby, it was bullish by 1.84% on a week-to-week -week basis. Now look at the chart closely. It's a making a very beautiful rounding bottom pattern. This was the lifetime high or all-time high of S&P 500 that it made in January 2022, which was at 4,818 level and it is almost there. So once it gives a breakout of this rounding bottom pattern or a rounding pattern, then there will be phenomenal upside move in S&P 500. Now look at the last week candle. Last week candle after a correction in the prior week has formed the one white soldier candlestick pattern, which is primarily a very strong bullish candle. It is nothing but the breakout of a bullish flag. This is the flag which has given a breakout in the last week. Now, let me superimpose some of the drawings uh, for technical studies. Here what we see, as I have just told you, thus this is the lifetime high it has made, all time high, which was at 4818.62. And now look at the price action. This is a bullish flag breakout. And the price has created a price action has created a one white soldier candlestick pattern. Look at the momentum indicator. This is RSI. RSI is in bullish territory above 60 level. And at the same time, during recent time correction, it has corrected. The market is so bullish that it has not even tested the 60 level. And now recovering. Now let us check the daily price chart. So we can here clearly see the breakout of a bullish flag which has taken place over here. In the last two trading sessions 
of the last week, the price is trading in a very narrow range and price is struggling to go past this important level of registers. So these are not major registers considering the price action. And it is probably forming a cup and handle kind of continuation chart pattern. So it is a good sign that the price is cooling off or consolidating before it gives a breakout of a neckline of this upcoming uh, continuation chart pattern, cup and handle kind of chart pattern. Now, where could be the possible support and resistance area in the upcoming week? Look at here. This is the large lower shadow which was created on uh, which date? 11th January. On 11th January, bears tried to push the price down. But ultimately, bull came in action and recovered the price. As a result of this, there is a large lower shadow formation on the price chart. So, this is an independent impulsive wave in itself. Here it formed the morning star kind of formation. Before that, it formed the inverted hammer kind of formation quite in proximity of EMA 21. So based on the price action, this important area where the large lower shadow has ended and if you see this candle, this candle was an inside bar kind of a structure during the price action. So 4721 to 4739 becomes the demand area based on the price action and in this zone, there is an intervention of exponential moving average 21 period, which currently reads at 4723.53. Which means even the EMA 21 is coming in this zone. So this zone is likely to be respected by the market in the upcoming week. How to calculate the upside target? Because S&P 500 is more or less trading at all time high. All time high, little away from the all time high. Currently, the price is trading at 4,783.84 and all-time high is 4,818.62. So, we can calculate the target based on the price action. If we measure the target on the basis of this prior impulsive wave, this is the well-defined impulsive wave and project the target using the Fibonacci expansion tool, the first next target comes at 4,857, which is 127.2% expansion level. And then 4,940, which is nothing but the 161.8% expansion level. If I calculate the target on the basis of breakout of this flag pattern, where the target comes, the target exactly comes at 4,860 level and then at 4,940 to 4,957. So targets of any chart pattern is a minimum expected objective. Overall trend is very bullish. If we check the momentum in the daily price chart, RSI is currently reading at 65.03, which means RSI is above 60 in weekly price chart. Above 60 in daily price chart, what does it indicate? It indicates the market has a backing of good upside momentum. Now let us move to the price chart of NASDAQ 100 to undertake the technical analysis. This is the weekly price chart of NASDAQ 100 index. This index in the last week closed at 16,832.92. Thereby it was bullish by massive 3.23% on a week-to-week -week basis and thus it has outperformed the broader market index S&P 500. Now this index has made the lifetime high here at November 2021. This is the November. It was an all-time high and here it made an all-time high has given a breakout of the all-time high. Then the correction took place in the prior week. But if you look at the candle of last week, it is a one white soldier candlestick pattern. So bears tried to push down the price here, but did not sustain. Bull came in action and ultimately uh, it could result into a formation of a one white soldier, very powerful candlestick pattern. Look at the momentum indicator. RSI is 66.7. So during this correction, it has almost tested uh, 60 level and bouncing back. If we check the Elders Force Index, it is in the bullish territory. 
So overall the structure is looking quite robust. Now let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action. Now look at the recent price action. Back to back for the last two days, it is taking resistance here. And again, it is in a process of making cup and handle kind of chart pattern against this prior uptrending market. And cup and handle, we all know, is a continuation chart pattern. Now look at the candlestick pattern of 11th January 2024. Again, the uh, bears tried to push the price down. But there is a formation of a large lower shadow indicating that the bulls came in action and recovered the price. And the process, the price took support at volume weighted moving average for the period 21. Here too, if we look at the momentum indicator RSI, currently reads at 62.95. So in weekly chart, we have seen RSI is above 60. In daily chart, it is above 60. So the market momentum is truly great. Now, let us check the some of the technical studies. What do we see? There is a breakout of the bullish flag with respect to the prior impulsive wave. Now, based on the price action, here we see back-to-back -back formation of a two inverted hammer kind of candlestick pattern. Here, there is a breakout of the bullish flag pattern. So, immediate support is, you know, major support is 16,300. Here, the price took support. Here, earlier, it was a resistance. But in the process of past few days price action, it formed a good support at 16,513 because it was a gap down candle and earlier it looked like it will form the inside bar. Ultimately, it closed above the uh, closing price of the prior day candle. So this low becomes very, very important low, which is at 16,513. Now, another important level is 16,650, where the price recovery can be seen by formation of a pin bar kind of structure, and which is nearly quite in proximity of the volume weighted moving average. So, this becomes the demand area in immediate sense, where 16,513 to 16,650. And if we check the uh, current value of the EMA 21, it is at 16,566.76. So nevertheless, this justifies that this is the demand area. Now, how to calculate the uh, resistance levels? In fact, when the price is trading at all-time high, there is hardly any resistance based on the price action. So we can do the analysis on the basis of, or project the price on the basis of the wave analysis in the market. Now, if we calculate the target with respect to this breakout of a bullish flag, the first immediate target comes at 17,100 and then 17,600. So it has a potential in immediate turns to go to 17,600 level. So this becomes the area where the price may go and then get overextended and then some correction may start taking place in the market. Overall trend is extremely bullish. Market momentum is great. So there is no sign of bears dominating in the market as of now. Now let us go to the price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index to undertake the technical analysis. This is the weekly price chart of Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. And this index in the last week closed at 37,592.99. Thereby it was bullish by marginally bullish by 0.34%. But the significant thing in this index is it has made the all-time high here at 36,952.65 in January 2022. Now, it has already given a breakout of the surrounding pattern and currently since past five weeks, the price is trading above this important level. So this important level at 36,952 becomes a very strong support in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. If I calculate a little intermediate term target based on the breakout of the surrounding pattern, the target is coming nearly at 42,000 level, which is quite high from the current level of 37,592.99. So this is will take some more time to reach over over there. But if we consider the price action, uh, what we can see, this important zone, 
this important zone becomes a very strong support in Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. Look at the momentum indicator. RSI is currently reading at 69.37. So it is uh, showing the great momentum in this index. Let us go to the daily price chart to understand the recent price action. So the price is currently struggling to go past this important level. And this important level is why significantly important is because if we, if we do the analysis, price is taking resistance here and consolidating. Any breakout above this will amount to a breakout of a bullish flag pattern with respect to the prior impulsive wave. So based on the price action, this level of 37,300 is a very, very strong support. But there is an intervening support also in this index. Where is there is an intervening support? Let me draw the level. This is an intervening support at around 37,500 level because the price is uh, defending this important level since past three days time. And this is a very important bullish candle. And the, if you calculate the median of this candle will come at around 37,500. Not exactly at 37,500, nearby that. So overall trend is extremely bullish. So if you do the wave analysis to project the next possible target, we have seen the intermediate term target, which is coming at 42,000 level. So if you do the wave analysis and project the target, the next target comes at 38,160, which is 127.2% expansion level with respect to the prior impulsive day and 161.8% expansion level reads currently at 38,700 level. So what is the take away of this stock market weekly analysis? US stock market is extremely bullish. At the same time, we have observed rounding pattern, a very deep rounding pattern in S&P 500, NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, which indicates if a breakout takes place. However, the breakout has already taken place technically in NASDAQ 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500 is almost there. So if a breakout takes place decisively of this rounding pattern, there is a massive upside move could be expected in the U.S. stock market in all the major U.S. stock market indices like S&P 500, Nasdaq 100 and Dow Jones Industrial Average Index. What is your take for the U.S. stock market? Do offer your comment in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Looking forward to meet you very, very soon.